Okay, I actually don't have notes because I did not think that this was going to happen. Um, I was rooting for another finalist. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. It, it has been such an honor to be on the long list and then the short list. And um, I, was, I never thought that a Russia book could actually be long listed or short listed for the National Book Award, but of course, things have um, changed. <laughs> Um, I, I had a peculiar luxury when I was writing this book. Uh, I, uh, I got a grant from the Carnegie Foundation, and so for the first time in my life I could actually write a book and spend the time to read an entire book to write a paragraph. And I'm very grateful for that and uh, for the people who allowed me to, to get that uh, support. But I'm particularly grateful to my publisher, Riverhead, for... <laughs> for sticking with me for so many years, and especially to Becky Salatin, who's uh, been with me for uh, more books than I can actually remember at the moment. Um, but especially for never reminding me what this book was originally supposed to be. And this book was originally supposed to be a short polemical book about Russia's war against the West and its efforts to undermine democracies. Um, it ended up being a very different book about the nature of a, of a country's turn away from democracy, about opportunities not taken, and about things that didn't happen. So a much more complicated thing, a book to write, and I think probably a much more complicated book to edit. And thank you so much for reading it and choosing it and honoring it. Thank you.